Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 110 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a super quick tip on using the tone curve in Lightroom. Now, you probably know the tone curve is in the develop module, the right hand panel. And there's actually two different tone curves in Lightroom. This is called the point curve. And if you click right here, this is called the region curve. This tip has to do only with the point curve. So we're going to go to the point curve. And what you might have found in the past, if you use the tone curve, use the specifically use the point curve, if you grab it anywhere and you want to move it, and it doesn't matter if you're using a mouse, a touchpad, a trackpad, a tablet, if you grab it anywhere and you move it, in this case I'm using a mouse, and I'm going to move it down, it doesn't take a lot of mouse movement to move the curve a great deal. So for instance, to move it here, I probably move that mouse less than a quarter of an inch. And if I move it about an inch, that's probably about there. So it doesn't take a lot to move that curve quite a bit. So that's kind of a gross adjustment. Sometimes you might find that you want to use a finer, more precise adjustment. And to do that, hold the alt or option key in. Now, if you've been watching my videos lately, you know I've been doing a lot of videos that talk about little tricks you could do in Lightroom where you hold that alt or option key in. It's alt if you have a PC, option if you have a Mac. And then just move that same point or any point, new point you put on there, and you'll find that you have to move the mouse a greater deal to get any movement at all in the point. So it's a finer, more precise adjustment. So if you're fussy like me, sometimes you come into the tone curve and you just want to tweak an adjustment a little bit. And this really helps you do it. So hold that alt or option key in and you'll find that it really takes a lot. For instance, I probably move my mouse now four or five inches to get it to move that much. So try that out. See if that helps you get a better adjustment using the point curve in the tone curve tab. Um, for the region curve, it really doesn't work. And you have the sliders anyway. And the sliders move a big region of the curve, as you can see there. That's why it's called the region curve. And typically, the point curve will give you a more precise adjustment to a specific group of tones in your in image. So if you're just doing general adjustments to the tone of your image, you might prefer to use the region curve. If you're trying to do a more precise adjustment to the tones of the image, you'd probably prefer to use the tone curve and you or the point curve, and you'd probably prefer to hold in that ultra option key as you move those points around. Now, one mini tip, real quick. I get this question now and then. If you have point or one or more points on the curve and you want to just clear them off, just right click on the curve and click on flatten curve and that will get rid of all those points. So there's some tips on using the point curve in the tone curve tab of the develop module of Lightroom. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.